From the beginning, when McDonald's approached us about this project, they knew they wanted to be sustainable. They had actually um, incorporated a lot of different initiatives on other projects. Because this was a flagship store and so important for their headquarters here in Chicago, we really tried to push the envelope of every possible sustainable strategy that could be incorporated. I have worked with Ozinga for a long time. They've been great at suggesting new te technologies to us and, and letting us know where the industry and the market is. And they suggested Carbon Cure, which turned out to be a great answer for McDonald's. So very early on in the process, we started looking at a variety of different materials that could be incorporated. We started talking about uh, wood for the structure, as well as uh, using the most sustainable concrete we could find. Um, it just so happened that Ozinga and Carbon Cure had approached us uh, several years back when they were just starting to talk about bringing the sustainable concrete mix to the Chicago market. This project, it was built on a very tight time schedule and we experienced no issues at all with the delivery of the product. It was seamless. Structural engineer Bob Magruder was very enthusiastic about using this product. He found that it matched his goals both for strength and design. I think that architects should introduce this product to their projects and to their engineering associates. There's so many environmentally friendly aspects of the design of this project. Some are visible, some are not visible. Obviously, if you look behind us, the solar panels are visible aesthetic to the building and bring us renewable energy. But who would think that concrete is also sustainable in reducing CO2 emissions? We are pursuing an innovation credit using the Carbon Cure Ozinga concrete mix. Right now, we've got statistics that show we saved about 30,000 pounds of CO2 um, that was sequestered in the mix itself and then um, allowed us to actually use less Portland cement. So I think it's an equivalent of 16-acre forest, which is pretty impressive for an acre city block to be able to contribute that much to the environment. It, it was seamless, it was very successful, and at the end of the day, we really saved on our CO2 emissions. It was so easy to integrate into the design process and into the specification. I can't imagine that it won't be a really go-to uh, solution for sequestering carbon and making a more sustainable building.